is right now doing something for the first time since July of 2023. And the last time that this happened, Bitcoin did something extremely surprising. And in this video, I'm gonna get down and dirty with the facts and only the facts. So sit down, grab a roll of toilet paper and strap on because things are about to get downright messy. As we discussed in the last video that I posted, it looks as though Bitcoin is entering sideways to dumpy price action. And we've been talking about this for the past week. The meme coins, specifically baby bonk coin, is potentially the best indicator we've seen of this uh, as meme coins historically mark local tops. However, there's something even bigger unfolding in the charts, and that's exactly what we're going to be dumping um, or potentially even dipping our tip into. So if you love gains, you love pumping, and in fact, you've actually grown to love dumping as well, and in fact, maybe a little too much, hit that like, hit that subscribe. And without any further ado, um, I don't know about you, but I don't mind getting dumped on. In fact, as I just said, it's become one of my favorite pastimes. So if we take a look at the stock market, the SPX, S&P 500, actually not looking too dang bad right now, up, up a half of a percent. We're seeing also the NASDAQ up about half a percent. The Dow Jones actually up a little bit as well, not nearly as much as these other two we just talked about, but I like seeing that. This is something that is uh, very good, especially after last week we broke this potential double top of about, for example, the SPX's $4,600 top. Currently, we're actually only about a percent or two away from new all-time highs for the SPX, the Dow Jones actually did hit all-time highs. And now the, the NASDAQ and the SPX are kind of just catching up a little bit. But we're all here most likely to talk about Bitcoin. And Bitcoin on this three-day chart, this is the very first time we've gotten this uh, MACD momentum bearish cross since all the way back about five months ago in July of 2023. And it did mark a downtrend shift in momentum that ultimately brought Bitcoin back down to about 25,000. You guys believe that? Literally just two or three months ago, Bitcoin was at 25,000. Here we are, uh, all the way touching on 45,000 just a few weeks ago. This is just very big. Um, but we actually just got this, uh, we're about to get this cross to the downside. You can see we're much higher on the MACD than we were um, back here five months ago but we're about to get the same cross. And so um, is this the only chart that's showing us something like that? Absolutely not. What I pointed out about two weeks ago, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, was the bearish divergence, which I personally think is about to start playing out at this very second, literally touching on the 21 day moving average right here. We've been spending uh, about the last week eight days sitting right on top of it, basically look out for a healthy correction. It looks as though over the next couple of days, if not even sooner, we might get that correction. And what will that look like, right? If you pull up one of your, tra you pull up trading view, you pull up one of your apps and you see all of that red, negative 5%, negative 10% on all of your holdings for crypto, right? You see a little bit of dumping here, a little bit of dumping there. I'm just telling you this basically because it's not bad. Um, it's, it's to be expected, right? We've been predicting this for the past couple of weeks. All of it's been slowly playing out. And all I'm saying now is it looks as though we've finally gotten to that point where if we see one of those candles, right, a nice decent dip, that's to be expected. It's healthy. The reason I'm telling you this now is to tell you beforehand. People don't really appreciate when uh, Bitcoin dumps and then they get on and make a video and say, Bitcoin dumped. People prefer when I make a video saying Bitcoin's about to dump and then Bitcoin dumps because at least it gives you, uh, well, it gives you some information. Whereas if you do it beforehand, it's basically, or if you do it after it already happened, it's basically pointless, right? Um, now also, is this is this kind of, happening also do we have confluence on other charts well if we look on the daily chart for bitcoin as well we do see the macd did get that um, bearish cross which we talked about a couple of days ago back on about the 12th of december or so the 11th of december and um yeah right now we're testing to try and hold on to the 21 day moving average i personally think dips will be bought um i, I think this market is very bullish but a sideways trading to potentially dumpy um dumpy downturn over the next couple of days down, like I said, to very strong support, I think around 37 to 38,000 38, um, is absolutely healthy, is absolutely possible as well. And it helps reset some of these momentum oscillators also. On the weekly chart for Bitcoin, even though we're about, we're so close to getting a golden cross on the weekly chart for Bitcoin, the 
Uh, momentum on the weekly chart as well is just now, uh, you can see it dying off a little bit. We saw it first on the daily chart, then the three day chart. You go to the weekly chart, we're also seeing those same signs there as well. And that's the confluence you wanna look for to feel more and more confident about these moves actually going in the direction that it looks like um, they're shifting. And another big, absolutely massive chart here is that the most bullish pullback I think we could get for Bitcoin is kind of right at about 40K, which is exactly where this year long support turned resistance turned now support most likely line is. Now as well, we look at this chart and we look at the MACD, every time we had over this entire run, this goes back the entire year, this line right here accounts for the entire year of Bitcoin price action. This, every time we've been overbought up here on the MACD, right in this range, and we had a double cross, which is a bearish cross followed by a little bounce, followed by another bearish cross above, um, or kind of in the overbought area of this MACD, it then signaled um, just a little more of a dump, or at least a retest of this trend line. You see it happened here, here as well, and then ultimately we got a pull back down to about 20,000, topped out at about 25,000. And then as well, we topped out about 31,000. And then ultimately, when we got the same signal, ended up bottoming out around 25,000. So these are healthy pullbacks, right? The, the uptrend continued. And that's why this is not bearish at all to me. This is still bullish. These are fine. Um, but again, I, I know a lot of people are going to be panicking. So that's one of the reasons I think it's really important to have this knowledge before we get dumps so that you can remain rational, productive, um, sane, whatever the word you want to use is during these dumps instead of getting all emotional, right? I've been in crypto for like seven years. I absolutely hate emotional babies. That's what I hate more than anything as I see this market. Mark, Bitcoin dumps one or $2,000 and people are panicking. Oh, well, you know, why is it crashing? Why is it crashing? Guys, I have made over a thousand videos. I've probably tweeted thousands of times. I've received tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of comments. I my brain cannot handle this crybaby emotional stuff anymore. Literally every comment people can post, I've read. There's literally not a comment that I've gotten pretty much in the last year or two that I basically have not received some sort of iteration from it. All I'm saying, the reason I'm saying all this is that I, out of all of that, I cannot handle when people become big crybabies because we have a small little healthy correction after going up like 200% in the last year. It is ridiculous. I want to smash my computer and, and somehow implant knowledge into these people that get so emotional when Bitcoin does exactly what it's always done. Anyway, um, speaking of that, here we have that exact same pattern that we've seen multiple times um, at the beginning of 2023. So if we get a correction here, a pullback, that's absolutely healthy. Now, the one thing I do want to say is Bitcoin is very bullish right now. Why is it bullish? Even though I'm just saying it's probably going to pull back a couple thousand dollars. Why is that bullish? Because the fundamentals are as bullish as they literally could be for Bitcoin. The price action also has been constructively so bullish on higher time frames. Um, and so the reason I say that too is that we could also just trade kind of sideways for weeks with like more of a downward bias. And that still, again, would help reset some of these oscillators. So I'm not saying, even though we could get a quick flash dumpy, kind of like we have the other few times we've had that, I don't necessarily think we have to. And the main reason I'm saying we don't have to is because as I just said, Bitcoin is fundamentally very bullish right now. I'm so bullish on Bitcoin. Even though I'm saying it looks like over the next couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks, we see more of a dump, a dumpy downtrend for Bitcoin. I still remain incredibly bullish. Um, so I don't know how else to word that 99% of you understand when I say that kind of thing, but I'll still get at least probably 10, 20 comments of people that are just confused about what I mean. How can you be bullish if it's dropping, right? Well, I just tried to explain why. Um, and the longer that you're in the market, the more it'll make sense to you. If you're new to the market, it simply is, it's harder to understand. I don't know how else to put it other than that. Um, but yeah, with that being said, sitting on the 21 day moving average, this is exactly what I just talked about, how we can just kind of consolidate sideways as some of these momentum oscillators. I mean, look, for example, here, this looks like, Hey, uh, this is crossing bearish. All of this is, you know, this looks like this could have been a pretty bearish move, but we were literally vertically accumulating basically. Yeah. There were some small dumps in there, but it, enough time went by to where these momentum oscillators flip, uh, like we're able to play out, um, and Bitcoin didn't dump. It, it, it like had some days where it was down, obviously, but ultimately it was shifting upwards. And um, ultimately, that to me is just the biggest sure sign of the beginning stages of a massive bull market. So even though 
this video might come off as a little bearish. If, if you're experienced and you're listening to what I'm saying and you're watching this video, you're thinking to yourself, oh, this is actually incredibly bullish. Okay. Um, keep in mind, thousands of people watch these videos. I'm not talking to just one person. I'm trying to tailor what I'm saying to as many people as possible, right? Um, and that's not the easiest thing to do. If you're trying to account for every single person and try to explain things as, as, um, as generally, but as also highly applicable to everyone as possible, there's a lot of nuances with, with how you have to talk to try to communicate effectively to all those people. I mean, thankfully, listening to the comments, most of you, I think, absolutely are pretty highly intelligent, pretty under, you understand this stuff. Again, it's not like very complicated anyway, but um, yeah, obviously this to me, uh, the direction of Bitcoin obviously has a bias right now, but ultimately, if we dump for the next couple of weeks and we go into 2024, or if we just trade sideways for the next couple of weeks and we go into 2024, say we get Bitcoin's body ETFs approved, a couple months later we have the Bitcoin halvings and Bitcoin just exploding upwards, is that bad? No, obviously. That's a very bullish scenario. And um, you have to welcome, that's why I start off the video, every video almost, you have to welcome dumps. You have to get used to them. And you have to be excited for dumps, right? And most of you are, at, le at least reading my comments, most people get it. And if you're interested in accumulating altcoins, accumulating Bitcoin, spot trading, whatever it is, sign up with my links to Femex or BitGet below. It takes 30 seconds to sign up. And without any further splodoosh, that's it for me.